नमस्कार स्टूडेंट्स कमिंग टू द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इन द सब्जेक्ट ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम वॉज डिस्क शेड्यूलिंग ऑल करी था सो ही आर वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द डिस्क सो डिफरेंट प्रोसेस वॉन्ट्स टू एग्जीक्यूट द ऑपरेशन और इफ यू डिफरेंट प्रोसेस वॉन्ट्स टू स्टोर द डेटा इन द डिस्क एंड टू रिट्रीव द डेटा ऑन द डिस्क सो सपोज अ मल्टीपल प्रोसेस की एंड द मल्टीपल आई वो रिक्वेस्ट और कमिंग टू द डिस्क सो एट दैट टाइम द डिस्क हैज टू शेड्यूल द ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम हैज टू शेड्यूल विच प्रोसेस हैज टू टेक द फर्स्ट सो दैट एक्सप्लेन्स अबाउट द डिस्क शेड्यूलिंग ऑल कर दम ओके ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ प्रायोरिटीज ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ द सम shortest time and the on the basis of the uh, different operations based on the different conditions the disk scheduling algorithm taking the io request and sending the io uh, information to the io request io devices so this is about the disk scheduling uh, means different algorithms different techniques will be there to maintain the process uh, to execute in a sequence order means in the continuous or form so let us see uh, the introduction part of this disk scheduling before going to explain uh, discuss about the different algorithms that are present in disk scheduling now let us see the introduction part of the disk scheduling so what this disk scheduling the disk scheduling is done uh, by operating system everything disk scheduling means arranging arranging the process in some particular time to execute the process at a particular time means within that time so which process has to come next that you call it as a scheduling just like your timetable so you, if your class is next which class and next which class has to come so that is a timetable scheduling in the same way the disk is have also allocated some scheduling so this disk scheduling is done by operating system so everything this done by the operating system uh, is done by operating system to schedule io request so whatever the io request that the user is requesting input output request that arriving for disk so disk scheduling is done by operating system to schedule io request arriving for disk it is also called as io scheduling we all another name for disk scheduling is also called as io scheduling why i am calling this as an io scheduling because the io input output is requesting the disk and uh, uh, to execute some operation means to perform some action so that's why the disk scheduling is also called as io scheduling so when multiple io request arrives the operating system has to choose an order to serve the request means which process has to which io request has to serve first and that has to be scheduled that has to be designed by the operating system itself so the request now let us see different requesters suppose this is a process a reads tracks 2 comma 5 the process a wants to read the track 2 comma 5 and process b wants to reads the track 3 comma 5 okay and another process came and it wants to read the tracks on the disk process c wants to reads tracks 8 comma 4 okay now this everything whatever the io request that are coming from peripherals or whatever it may be so that request will be first sent to the operating system the operating system has to read tracks and it is going to be scheduled operating system has to read tracks 2 3 4 5 and 8 and that request will be placed on the disk so this is how the disk scheduling will be done the io request that will be sent to the operating system the operating system is going to schedule the requests that is received from the io devices and according to that that process will be sent to the disk okay there are many disk scheduling algorithms but before discussing uh, let us before discussing about the different scheduling algorithm let us see some important terms that we came across in algorithm so the first term that we uh, let us see the seek time what do you mean by the seek time seek time means time 
required to move the disc arm to the required task to the required task that you call it as a seek time seek time means the starting time the time required to uh, the total time required to move the disc arm to the required task moving the arm to the required task that you call it as a seek time so let us take a disc okay a disc consists of several tracks okay so and within that you are having the sectors disc is here i'm taking as just a, let us take the cd cd disc cd uh, so the compact disc so a compact disc is in circular shape so inside that you are having so many tracks okay the circular is a track and within the track you are having this is a sector sector is used to store the information in the sector the data is stored okay track is just uh, identification means in which stage in which stage that data may be present so here seek time means the time required first suppose the arm will be placed at any of the position the arm that is that will be placed the pin that placed on the, any of this position in the on the disc okay so here the time required to move the disc arm so this disc arm has to move to the required task so the time that it takes to move to the required track okay and the track some sector information is it the time required to move this arm to that exact position that time you call it as a seek time okay means the first the arm has to reach the has to reach the track on the disc and from track it has to go to the sector in the sector you are, you will have the information whatever the required information you need that will be present so the time it takes to move the arm to the required task move the arm to the required task that you call it as a seek time okay and next one next is rotational delay what do you mean by rotational delay rotational delay means time required to rotate the disc to the required sector to the required sector here we are rotating the disc to go to the required sector so the time the total time that it takes to rotate the disc to the required sector that you call it as a rotational means here we are talking about the rotations and here we are talking about the time required to move the arm to the required position so here we the data is present so to move the arm to that particular position it takes some time that time you call it as seek time and rotational time delay means time required to rotate the disc to the required sector and the next one data transfer time what do you mean by this data transfer time time to time to read or write data from or to the disk data transfer means we have we want to transfer the data from uh, from uh, io device to the disk or from disk to the io devices so the time to read the data or write the data from or to the disk means we are taking the data from disk and we are placing the data to the disk the total time it takes to read the data or to write the data from or to the disk you call it as a data transfer time so by seeing this see if you know, uh, know the seek time rotational delay and the data transfer time then the total access time to store the data or to retrieve the data is therefore the total access time for a particular sector for a particular track whatever the data we want to store that the total access time to the disk is seek time seek time is time required to move the disk arm to the required task plus rotational delay it is a time required to rotate the disk to the required sector plus data transfer time 
it is a time taken to read or write data from or to the disk so this is a formula for total access time seat time plus rotational delay plus data transfer time so the main goal of disk scheduling algorithm is what is the main why we are using the disk scheduling algorithms the main goal of disk scheduling algorithm is to is to minimize the seek time the main thing is we have to minimize the seek time for that cases we are using the disk scheduling algorithm so based on that requirement the user requirement we are using this uh, different types of disk scheduling algorithms thank you